everyone, Roxanne here from financerocks.com. Today I wanted to share how I'm dealing with food insecurity and anxiety caused by the coronavirus supply chain interruptions. I was just reading an article on CNN, and I'll link it below if you're interested, and it talks about potential global food shortages and how our food supply chain is being interrupted by coronavirus closures of ports, difficulties staffing crews for air cargo shipments, as well as they're having a hard time getting enough people to help harvest crops that are ready to be harvested, as well as planting crops that should be planted now for, you know, future supply chain fulfillment. Now a little bit about my background if you're new to the channel. I did grow up below the federal poverty line, and I worried a lot about being able to keep the fridge stocked, pantry stocked, being able to buy things that weren't available through government subsidy, things like toilet paper and shampoo. So if you can imagine, this is reminding me of those days. And so hopefully these tips will help you if you're feeling the same kind of food insecurities or anxieties uh, that I'm struggling with right now. So let me just read you a Mark Twain quote that I actually think about a lot when I'm dealing with anxiety. I'm an old man. I have known many great troubles, but most of them never happened. You know, I can certainly relate to that. I've done a lot of worrying over the years that has ended up being about things that never came to pass, you know, worrying about someone's reaction to something and then they react uh, totally fine or worrying about, you know, this or that with our finances, but then those things never happen. I like to think about this quote and consider is now the right time to be worrying about this. We are experiencing some shortages now, but it's helpful to just worry about the things that are happening happening now and have that turn from worrying to, you know, constructive planning. So thinking about things in a way that's more constructive than just general worrying about it. The next thing that I'm doing is reminding myself that it's my choice to be optimistic or pessimistic. Reminding myself that I can be optimistic right now just helps me to take a step back and think about what I'm thinking about and, you know, are those productive thoughts? Are those true? Are, is there a silver lining here that I can focus on instead? There's another quote that I really like, and I apologize, I don't remember who said it, but it's that action is the antidote to fear. So I'm thinking about what actions can I take that will help satisfy this concern, even if it you know doesn't fully solve it, even if it's just a little thing, even if the only outcome is getting my mind off of worrying about it. So some little actions that you might take right now might be things like taking an inventory of what you have in your pantry. It might be Googling alternatives to things that there may be shortages of coming. When the toilet paper shortage first happened, I looked up a bunch of different things that you can use instead of toilet paper, you know, that just helps reinforce that if there are shortages of any one thing, there likely are alternatives. We just might not be aware of those alternatives. Now, I know with alternatives, they're not always great. We don't always love the alternatives, but just knowing that alternatives exist to things helps me to manage that and feel a little bit better about shortages. The next tip is to focus on the things that you control and let go of the things that you have no control over. So it's helpful to identify and just remind myself that I have no control over the global supply chain. So then I can kind of breathe that away and say, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. There's no sense in worrying about it. I'm gonna focus on the things that I can control. So what things can I control? I can focus on making sure that the food we have now doesn't go to waste, and we can focus on making the things that we have stretch you know, the items that we've already purchased, whatever groceries they are, trying to just make them last as long as possible. So like toilet paper, trying to conserve, conserve what we have. And so, you know, just using a little less than we usually use. That's something that's within our control. The final tip that I have is focusing on positive self-talk. So I reminded myself of a few things. I reminded myself that I'm resourceful. Being resourceful is a great way to combat scarcity in the world. If you're unfamiliar with David Goggins, you should look up his channel. He is an ex-Marine. He has done tons of like ultra marathons. So those are the ones, I think it's more than a hundred miles. 
Uh, so he's a badass when it comes to both mental and physical challenges. And he talks about keeping a mental cookie jar of memories for things that he has conquered that help him feel strong and powerful and keep going when he feels like he can't go any farther. So I certainly never thought of it of a, as a cookie jar, but I've done this a bit as well, thinking about times of hardship that I've faced financially and how I was able to overcome those. Thinking about when I was broke and then how I got out of that situation. So, you know, if I can go from broke to being not broke, then, you know, certainly I should be capable of handling shortages. That's all I have for you right now. I just wanted to share those few things that I was doing and I would love it if you commented below if you have things that you do to help manage anxiety and insecurity. I hope you all are out there staying healthy and now more than ever, I hope your finances rock.